Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I apologize, but I'm back. Today I will be talking to you about my daily planning tools, obviously aside from whatever planner I'm using lately. I've been using my bullet journal, but you know, you guys don't use a, a ring planner or I have the passion planner. I try to use everything. I don't like wasting my money. So let me just jump right in and explain everything. There isn't a whole lot, <laughs> but these are the tools that I use daily. Okay. These are not the things that I have. These are not all the things I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of things. Um, these are not the things that I reach for like weekly or monthly. This is like every day. Okay. Regardless of what I plan in. Okay. So let's move this over there. Okay. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this is a ruler from the Dollar Tree. I was using, I'll show this one briefly. I was using this guy, which I got at the clearance section at Walmart for 50 cents. And I thought because it was steel, it was going to, a steel ruler, it's going to work better. It didn't because when the units were put onto this, um, they were etched and then they keep going around. So when you, I tried drawing a straight line, it wasn't straight. It made a wiggles because of the dents. I don't know if that makes sense. And I thought I was going to be a fan of stencil, like using a stencil for drawing. Yeah, I didn't like it. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got myself this one, which is nice, thick and sturdy. It's got this magnified magnifier area in the center. Not that I need it. And it's a big ruler, so it's nice when I have to make those monthly um, layouts in my bullet journal. And it was a buck, so yay! All right, the next thing. These are all my pens. I will explain where I got them. I will try to explain how much they cost, why I got them, how I use them, what have you. Okay. I'm going to start with this, which is actually belongs to this guy. So this is a cactus pen that I got, um, oops, hello, that I got at World Market. Our specific World Market was closing. So all the pens were 60% off. Originally, I think I had the, well, maybe not. I don't know how much this ended up costing originally because I bought this with two more pens for my kids. All I know is that the three pens ended up costing me $6. Do I know how much this pen cost originally? No, I think it might've been $8. But every time I went in, it was in the thing. I was like, that is like the cutest pen. I have a thing for cacti, um, so I bought it. It is very, very fine tip and it is black ink. The only downfall, I think, to this whole design, I know it's there for like cutesy factor, is I never know what to do with the cap. It doesn't like, but it's a really good pen. I I hold my pens pretty hard. I put a lot of pressure and for being fine point, it does a good job. And the ink is very like bold and vibrant, like a true black. You do have to wait for it to like dry, but I really like it. I really like that it's super fine. I think it's less than a 0.5. I mean, I don't even know if this says, it doesn't. So it came in this, right? It was in here and I kept this because you saw all these pens fit in here, which is great because if I need to throw all this stuff in my bag, which happens to be my diaper bag, um, they're not rattling around. It's easy to find. And if any of these, pens were to bust or anything it stays within here it's not gonna like trash my purse or whatever they're in and I like it it's just so easy for transport I think the price point for this pen is not so much the pen I think it's the packaging um but for me I use the packaging that it came in I think it's very useful so <laughs> it's 60% off for me so it's definitely definitely worth it all right next is the what is this? Uniball Signo in black. It's a 0.7 um, 
tip. Okay. Are you going to focus? you focus for me? Okay. Maybe. All right. This is a really good pen. Again, very vibrant. I love Uni Ball. I think my top two favorite, like, pen, marker, anything brand is Uni Ball and Zebra. I think Uni Ball was the first brand that I, like, fell in love with, and then later on came Zebra. I love it. The I never have issues with the ink. It's smooth. It flows. Um, it said it was fast drying. They're liars because you do have to wait a little bit with this one. But it's such a good pen. It feels great to hold. Again, I use a lot of pressure to write. It is a 0.7. I didn't find anything smaller because this was from Michaels. That area where it's a la carte. It doesn't come in a package. You buy them individually. And I think when they have a sale on their pens, their, you know, their pens or markers a la carte, um, it is way cheaper and sometimes you can even incorporate a coupon on top of the sale, which is what I did with this guy and this guy. Um, and it, the pen ended up being like really, really cheap. I think it was, she was like only like a dollar and change. So I really like her. And you know for sure if you're buying a la carte, you're going to like what you're getting if you know what you're getting. You know what I mean? It's not like buying a whole packet of like 20 pens and you test them out and you only like two and you're like, oh, I spent money on the rest and I don't really like them. So there's that. Here is my Zebra Mild Liner. Again, from that Michaels a la carte area. <laughs> and they had so many like beautiful colors, but I have found that I am not, I don't like color in the sense of decorating my spreads. Sometimes in the past, I like I sometimes use it as an accent color, like especially like my ring planner. But if I do do that, it has to be a color that I don't use in my color coordinating color code. Since college and even before on that, I have a very specific color coding system, whether it is for studying or now planning bills and things like that. Um, so when I use color to decorate, it clashes. It, it doesn't work for me. So I bought just gray, which works great. Um, again, from that a la carte um, spot. Check, check it out, guys. It's great. You can use um, coupons from Joann's at Michael's, too, and vice versa. So check them out. Um, so there's that. And lastly, this guy. This guy is not a good pen, okay? This is from my husband's um, work, which is why I have the sticky, because it has <laughs> the name and address. But the reason why I have it in there is because it's a stylus. Okay, I use my phone to record so I can't show you. But um, this is like the pen where I don't care if I write messy, if I'm jotting down notes on like, I just grab whatever and I need to write something down. This is that pen. This is not my like, this is like my whatever. I don't care about really the color of the ink. I don't care if it's bold. I don't, you know what I mean? This is just like me just for my chicken scratch. Um, what matters about this pen is the stylus. It's a very heavy steel pen. Um, this is pens.com. I don't know if that means anything. But the reason why the stylus is important to me is because I use my phone. Um, I have this app for like digital drawing, digital art. And that's what I use for um, my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Not on this channel, on a different channel. And I do a lot of digital art on my phone. I work with what I got. I don't have a tablet. I don't have a touch computer. I do everything on my phone. I use my little tiny phone and I, I use my little free digital art app and this is the stylus my husband brought home so that I can draw because before I made myself a really janky stylus with a q-tip that I would have to wet q-tip wrapped in aluminum foil. I would have to constantly wet for it to work. Um, and he, he brought me this, so thank you, honey. But this is this is that pen. It's more about the stylus. It has really nothing to do with planning, but it does in the sense that I edit, I record and edit all my videos on my phone. So I use this too on the app that I use to edit my videos, and this helps out a lot. So it is planning related, okay? And it all goes back in here in a very uh, specific way just because of the shape of the sky. So these have to go in this way, 
this way. And then this guy's flipped over. And then, um, I don't know, and this way. And then I close them up. This does not go in my purse. This stays in my little planning cubby area because I don't really have a desk. I use my dining table to do everything. Um, and this will be either be in my purse or in my dresser with whatever, again, planning tool I'm using. So these are all my planning stationary tools, pens, markers, whatever you want to call it. It's not a pencil case. It's a pen marker tube. <laughs> I hope this was infor infor informational. I hope this is helpful, guys. I hope you found some sort of like, you know, inspiration from this. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.